there's a very popular story of Jackie Robinson coming into the majors. Well, that story that's not told there is Branch Rickey was also, in 1946, a part owner of the football Brooklyn Dodgers and played against the Cleveland Browns of the All-American Football Conference. And Branch Rickey once told Marion Motley, he said, had I not had the experience of seeing you and Bill Willis play in a contact sport without incident, I might not have had the courage to bring Jackie Robinson up into the majors. These men integrating football a year before Jackie Robinson is crucially important. These four men created a foundation on which generations built upon, and their actions, both on and off the field, opened a door that allowed other people to follow. But I think the reality is that in 1946, as important as it was, it didn't have the national impact of, say, Jackie Robinson in baseball. It's because Jackie has been given so much publicity in virtually every baseball game might mention Jackie Robinson. Jackie did this, Jackie did that. He was constantly in the limelight, one way or the other. And these others were just forgotten people in history. It's always about the one, right? We're always looking for that one. And so once Jackie Robinson became the one, became the archetype, Nobody else could step in that space. It, it was already filled. And in America, there's been a long tradition, a very long tradition of seeing the singular exceptional black person as a stand-in for not the story of black heroism, courage, and triumph, but the story of American exceptionalism. So Jackie was chosen. Bill Willis, Marion Motley, Kenny Washington, Woody Stroke, they never had the adulation. They never really gained the acknowledgement that, say, a Jackie Robinson did for what they did for pro football. And they're bonded by the fact that the wall came crashing down in two leagues, by the way. These men were exceptional, and they carried amazing burdens so were they courageous absolutely were they pioneers they clearly were but what they really were were people who came out of an african-american community and realized that their job was to ensure not only their own success but the success of the broader community and that is a heavy burden that they carried and they carried it well